everybody and welcome to Narnia with your Red Panda and welcome to Red's Stereo Rig. This is fucking beautiful. Hi. So basically, my ABY box came in the mail on Saturday. And um, for those of you who don't know what an ABY box, what it does is it's a line splitter for guitars. So basically, this is going into the box and it has two outputs, an A and a B. That's the A, that's the A, and that's the B. So I can pick between both using either or of them or using both of them, which I've been spending a lot of time these past few weeks um, getting some some sounds for uh, the rig, and it sounds fucking beautiful. It sounds really cool with the bass, too, so Joe, you're going to be jealous as fuck. So I'll run by my settings. So here is A. So A is, um, basically the setting on that is actually all that distortion is coming straight from the amp. It's all the natural reverb and gain of the amp, so. But my A setting is basically guitar into the AVY box, obviously, that's the setting for either of these. And then A goes from my, the AVY box to my yellow MXR distortion pedal, which sounds like this when you add it in. gives it a little bit more gain and boosts it a bit. Then that yellow pedal goes into my green fuzz pedal, which... So that's the A. I'll turn that off for a second. And then we're gonna go into B, which is my high gain tone. This one's very simple. The B setting is guitar to AVY box, obviously, and then straight into my um, Digitech element pedal, which is my multi-effect pedal, which works all of my main sounds. Like you know, this, my big ambient thing. My waz. octaves. Now I know what you're all here for is, oh, Anna has a really nice clean tone. This one has a very nice clean channel 2 on it. Let's give that a go. even considered a stereo rig is because on stage or in a live situation the amps would be set up as they are now with one to each of my side creating a stereo picture for the audience which when they're played together sound fucking amazing so I'm gonna play them both clean together and so here is just this amp the uh, trainer and here is just the Ashdown here's both fun distortion stuff. So let's swap a channel. That's that. Now here's both.
there's some cool things I can do with this, like have a um, shorter setting and then bring it up an octave with both. If I have both on, kind of like this. So um, I'm going to be using this just to demonstrate. So with my B setting, I'm going to have the octave up, the whammy effect on my black pedal. Now if we have this, it doesn't do the octave aside from if I'm using the fuzz pedal. So if we use both together with the octave up, it makes a really weird kind of sound. And it sounds really cool with the bass. Like this. So let me get a bass, and I will demonstrate that. Right, so now we have the bass. Turn these fuckers on. So the bass sounds pretty cool. with that. Now, if we do that octave thing again with both amps, it sounds pretty fucking cool too. to this one, which is going to be boosted shit, let's add a distortion to it. Now, the cool thing about my fuzz pedal is that it has a mid-cut circuit, not a mid-boost, a mid-cut, meaning I can take all the mids out of it entirely. So if we add the fuzz... That's that. Now if we take the mid-cut and turn it on, and then play it, it sounds completely different. the octave could sound cool too. Let's try that out. Now, 
things we can do with this are cool. We can do the octave thing again, but with the clean, like this. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Um, the things I can do with this. Oh, one more thing you can do with this is uh, I think it'd be great for recording purposes. Is if I just want to use one affected bass tone, like say the you know the the gainy one from this amp, just have the over my distortion pedal. I can do um, I can take um, the AWI box, take the A, A the A setting out so it's you know split it's A for the yellow and green pedal, and then I can take the B send it to the sound engineer as a DI, because you're just getting a straight signal from the from the ABY box. So that could be really useful for like dual recording uh, a bass, having you know a, an affected tone and an unaffected tone for reamping, or you can do it with a guitar if you want to do it with reamping. So you have those two settings, and you can just play them through together as the AB setting. So I hope you guys enjoy my stereo rig setup. This is going to be played again um, for uh, Friday's video on, uh, well, I record on Thursday with Matt, or, I record on Thursday, but Matt will be here Friday, so it'll be here for the Friday or next week's video. It'll be this same lovely stereo rig, except fucking blasting in the back building. So, I hope you all enjoyed, and I, yeah, I completely forgot my outro just now, so I will see you guys next time. Bye!